I've been invited by the team at Project Manta to Lady Elliot Island on the southern end of the Great Barrier Reef. Project Manta are doing really important research for manta rays. My job today is based all around photography. The Great Barrier Reef is the largest coral reef ecosystem on the planet. Lady Elliot Island is about 50 miles off the coast. And when I first came out to Lady Elliot Island, it was kind of like the moon. For many years, the people who lived on the island started mining it and taking off the whole top layer of the island. In the 90s, Steve and I started coming out together fairly regularly, and we would encourage things like revegetation. And now we're seeing grass and trees and bushes and things that weren't here before, and the island is just flourishing. This island is known as home of the manta ray. Manta rays look really big, and you might think they're dangerous just because of their size, but actually, they're harmless. They have a wide mouth and cephalic lobes, which kind of hang down from the front of the manta ray. They'll use this to funnel food into their mouth or to express emotion. Manta rays are a really fascinating animal, and they're beautiful. They move like poetry in motion in the water. They are spectacular creatures. When you get closer to them, you've got to watch that body language. You've got to make sure that they're feeling comfortable. The mantas are really amazing. Project Manta are doing great things to track the manta rays and also identify individuals and the research that they're conducting is really groundbreaking. I was so excited when Project Manta asked me to photograph the manta ray, one of the most iconic animals on the Great Barrier Reef. And it's really combining my two passions in life, which is photography and wildlife conservation. I can't wait. I'm on Lady Elliot Island on the Great Barrier Reef with the amazing Project Manta team tracking down these huge oceanic animals. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Oh, ah, yeah. We've just attached an acoustic tracker to one of these guys, and now we've located some mantas. We're not exactly sure how many there are, but it looks like there's more than one. Hey, you guys ready to get ready? Yeah, we're get ready. Here and duck on bus boy. We're ready. Having Robert as a citizen scientist is really fantastic because he's calm around large animals, he respects them, and he's a fantastic photographer. We're swimming up to these manta rays, and this is better than we could have ever expected. It's a mating train. So the female is purposefully manoeuvring around to try and see which male can actually keep up with her. That's the one that she'll mate with. I am right in the middle of this courtship display. This is amazing. This is so rare to see in the wild. This is really exciting. Robert has positioned himself perfectly. He's got in amongst the female and the males, and the female's doing this big belly turn. Um, and she's flipping and turning, and, the, and Robert is right in the middle of all of them. And one of the males goes to turn around, and whack! I get a big fin right in the face. Kaboom! I have no idea. I think Robert may have been hit. 
Well, him being that close, hopefully he's got a great photo of the belly, because you honestly couldn't get any closer than Robert just got then. This is probably one of the best wildlife experiences I've ever had. I definitely got some great shots, and now it's time to go back and see if we can compare these photos with other animals in the Project Manta database. I think I've got probably seven or, or eight that you can clearly see the tummy. Oh, as that's well. perfect. Oh, Look is at that, that good? That's great. That is such a good ID oh. shot. Oh, awesome. We can see it. We can see it's a female. female. Okay. Just the pelvic enough. fins, there's no claspers. Yep. yep. And we'd search for her using mm -hmm. sex. Yep. Colour, she's a white manta. Mm -hmm. One spot between the gills. So if we searched through that, I think she'd be easy to find. Let's take a look at some oh, of these right. others. It's not search that there. one. No. Not that one. Or no. any of these. Oh, it's oh. actually that one. There that's, she is. That's her. <laughs> Megami, how beautiful is her no reference way. shot? No way, that's great. That's a gorgeous shot of her too. So yeah. we confirm it. There we can is. see it's the same one spot in the same position. Yep. It's got... Wow. She was yeah. first recorded at Lady Elliot in August 2007. Wow. I was swimming with Megami. <laughs> that is you really amazing. You with Megami. Wow. Yeah. Oh, she's beautiful. I think this has probably been my favourite trip to Lady Elliot Island. Not only has it been really fun, but it's also been for an important purpose. You know, mantas have only been on the protected list for three years in Australia. So it's all thanks to this research that we can gain a better understanding about the animals and really learn how to conserve them in the wild. So I feel really great that I've contributed to this research and I have had the best time. I can absolutely understand why Dad loved this place so much. This is awesome. I can't wait to come back.